You're watching Terrier Vision. Welcome into E.J. Whitmire Stadium here in Cullowhee, North Carolina, where this afternoon the Wofford Terriers will look to remain unbeaten in Southern Conference play. The 3-0 Terriers, ranked number 12 in the country, will take on the Western Carolina Catamounts, who are 0-3 in the league and 1-6 and overall. The Terriers trying to beat Western for an eighth consecutive head-to-head -head meeting. Here are your highlights. Two receivers left, one to the right. Again, Mitchell out of the gun. And off play action. He'll throw to the far side. Off the hands of the receiver, Benson. It pops in the air and falls incomplete. Two different Terriers had a chance to pick it, but neither CNO nor Armfield could secure the football. Along with a couple of others, Boston Bryant on the defensive line. First and goal from the one-foot line. Mitchell running left. Touchdown on the keeper. And Western has the initial lead. 7-0, Western leads it. We're in the final minute of the first quarter. Terriers first and 10 from the Cat 46. Lawson runs the option right, has a seam on the keeper. To the 40, to the 35, finally knocked over at the Catamount 34. Six play of the drive, Terriers first and 10 at the Cats 34 on the right hash. Lawson running the option left, and again he's gonna keep. He'll take it to the 30 and ridden down from behind inside the 25, all the way down to the 22, and that'll end the first quarter. Second and 11 at the Cat 23. Three, Lawson flat pass intercepted. Picked off by a lineman, returned to the 40, to the 50, to the 45, to the 43. On second down and eight, he'll look to the bench to get the play call. Terriers, two down linemen, or make it three. And Mitchell gonna run the option right, and he's got nowhere to go. He's thrown for a loss back at the 29 yard line. Alvin Ciano, Sigmund will try a 40 yarder from just inside the left hash mark. Out of the hold of John Duggan. High snap, spot down, kick on the way, line drive, twisting left, and he missed it wide left, and the Catamounts failed to get any points on the board. Terriers second and four from their 41. Two receivers right, one to the left for Weimer. And again, two backs stationed behind him out of the gun. Singleton with the snap. Weimer fakes the dive, gets it away to Gay. He's going to throw it deep for Irwin. Will Irwin's got it near side at the 30. Slant center of the field, makes a man miss at the 25. Irwin to the 20. 20 to the 15, finally ridden down at the 12-yard line by Harris. First and 10 from the Cat, 13 right up the middle. Johnny Martin handoff, takes it to the 10, to the 5, leg drive down to the 3. Wade Francis will split to the right with the ball on the left hash mark. Michael Weimer out of the gun. Two backs with him. A wing to the right is Michael Harp. One receiver to the left. And it's a fake of the dive. Pitch near corner. Will Gay into the air. And he vaults into the end zone. Touchdown, Terriers. Will Gay took off about the two. And he soars across the goal line. Wofford with the extra point can tie it. Second down, half a yard at the Terrier 46. This time they'll work out of a pistol formation, though now Ramsey will set up behind the quarterback to his left. Two receivers left, one to the right. Low snap. Mitchell digs it up off the ground, still with time to throw. Airs it out near side, wants Benson. Got him. Touchdown, Western Carolina. They go over the top. Kickoff is a ground ball. They're trying an onside kick. It is loose at the 45. We've got a scramble. And who has the football? Western. Western's got the football on the onside kick. Third and 11. Western Carolina at the Terrier 47. Two receivers right, a wing right. One receiver to the left. Troy Mitchell, shotgun snap. Single back play action. This time he's going to be sacked. Terriers have about four white jerseys on top of the quarterback at the Western 47-yard line, and it is fourth down and long. We've played one half of SoCon football here in Cullowhee, North Carolina, and the 12th-ranked Terriers have a lot to talk about. Ball will be kicked off by Richard Sigmund from right to left. Nick Colvin, Lorenzo Long back deep for the Terriers at the five-yard line here in Cullowhee. Kick end over end, high and very returnable. Taken far sideline at the six. Lorenzo Long comes up the numbers, makes a couple of men miss to the 15, keeps his feet, bangs around to the 20, still on his feet. Look at him go, far sideline third. 30, Lorenzo Long 40, blockers 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown Terriers. What a way to start the second half. Are there any flags? I'm looking and I don't see any. Or is there one? Oh my goodness, this may come all the way back. 
Wofford will go out of the wing bone left to right. First down and 10 from their 17. Weimer fakes the dive, runs the option left. Now is a seam. Far numbers to the 30. Breaks a tackle. 40, 50. Cuts it toward the center of the field to the 40. Weimer with a blocker at the 30. 20, 10, 5. Touchdown. And this time there are no flags. Terriers were bound and determined to have a big play to start the second half. Mark and Tom, how much you want to bet that Coach Ayers gave the same halftime talk today that he gave at the Elon game? And the only score of the third quarter, a Michael Weimer keeper for 83 yards. On second and six from the 35, out of the wing bone. Weimer again fakes the dive, pitch near corner. Will Gay has a block out front, 40, near sideline, 45. First down run, Will Gay out of bounds into the Terrier bench at the 48. Long snap count for the redshirt sophomore quarterback. Back. In motion right goes Harden. Weimer with the toss to Harden, and he's got a seam to the 50. Jukes a man down to the 45. Harden down to the 44-yard line. Second down and six for the Terriers. Make it five at the Catamount 35. Again out of the wing bone. Fake of the dive. Weimer looking to turn right corner is upended at the 31-yard line. He was cut out from under. Wofford third down and a yard at the Catamount 31 on the right hash. Wing bone with a tight end lined up left. One receiver goes to the right. Turn, handoff, Martin. First down up the middle. Keeps his feet 25-20. And he booms his way down to the 16-yard line. It's first and 10. Wofford out of the the wing bone this time with a short split to the right for one receiver and Harp the tight end lined up strong left again Western stacking the box with seven Weimer digs it out and he'll give on the counter to Harden he's got room he's to the 10 wheels away from a man at the five touchdown Terriers have the lead Octavius Harden for the score 16 yards fourth down and two catamounts at the Terrier 11-yard line. They send two receivers to the left. Ramsey, the running back to the right of the quarterback, Troy Mitchell. They've got two tight ends in this formation. Wofford, three down linemen, eight in the box. Shotgun snap coming to Mitchell. He's got it. He's going to look to keep. Wants to bounce it outside to his left. Hemmed in, trying to make the nine. He is smacked down at the 10, and I don't think he got there. He did not. The Terrier defense is held, I believe. The spot shows he didn't make it. Wofford ran him out. And Sullivan on second down, has it. Terriers bring four, throws down the middle. Caught at the seven yard line by Willie Police. He is knocked over there with eight seconds to go. They will move the chains. It is first and goal. They spot him down at the five. Western's got a shot with eight seconds left. Sullivan from the gun will clock the ball with 5.1 seconds remaining. And for a second straight week, it may come down to one stinking play. You cannot let a receiver get inside you on a slant play right here. You've got to stay inside them. 21 to 17, Terriers lead it. Five seconds to go. Western Carolina, second and goal from the five left hash. Two receivers right, one to the left, two backs for Eddie Mitchell. In the pocket, throws toward the end zone. Too high, incomplete, but we still have time left on the clock. Barring a defensive penalty, this will be it. Terriers trying to hang on. Third down and goal from the five. 1.6 seconds remaining. Twins right, a single man to the left for Eddie Sullivan. Rolling right, lobs it toward the end zone. Incomplete ball game. Wofford has won it. The intended target was police, but he couldn't get there as the ball was thrown too far in front of him, and Wofford survives for a second consecutive week. I'm, I'm too old for this. Good gracious, this team just makes plays when they have to. Bernard Williams was the guy in pass coverage. Give him some credit. Coach, second straight week, you've got a rally from a halftime deficit. You're already right. shaking your head. It's a win, but right. what, what are you looking at that, that needs to improve? Well, the, this game reminded me of a fight that never was going to end. And... Uh, like I told the guy from the newspaper, I feel like I've been hammered by, with body shots uh, after two weeks of this stuff. And the, the credit uh, goes to uh, our guys, uh, the way that they hung in there on defense, just phenomenal. And then, you know, offensively, we got to go in the second half, gave ourselves a chance. And, uh, you know, we, we thought we had uh, the game won. 
uh, we have uh, a situation where we don't get a first down. If we get the first down, they burn all the timeouts, and you know we we go back feeling a lot better than than we did. Uh, you you have a penalty that penalizes uh, us from an offensive standpoint. Like, okay, we want the clock to run. Why would we have a guy fake an injury and stop the clock? Mm -hmm. Makes no sense. Dumb rule. <laughs> Just dumb rule. I'll tell you that right now. And uh, the the big thing and the best thing of the whole football game occurred on that last series where we have a great punt, we do exactly like we wanted to do, put it down on a one, and those guys, you know, they had they had the ability in what they did to fight back. We stopped them the first time, then we, you know, it came down to a punt again, and I'm saying, gosh, deja vu, too quick. And it, it, it was a fight, it was a fight, and uh, again, it's a credit to Coach Spear and his staff because those kids don't fight that hard unless they care. Mm -hmm. They don't fight that hard. They, and uh, every week they've gotten better. And I was afraid that this was going to be the week that they they busted out. And uh, I don't know if, uh, you know, by the grace of God, we, we dodged a bullet. And, uh, and that and playing hard and... and uh, and just, gosh, two weeks in a row, man, yeah. it, it's hard. <laughs> uh, Mike Weimer took things over at quarterback, yeah, had yeah. that huge run to start the yeah, second half, yeah, yeah. And, and just seemed steady. Yeah, uh, before that, uh, we had uh, Lorenzo Long. He broke kick return all the way. And we have a holding. And we're thinking, oh my gosh, we got a holding. We had a big play. What are we going to do? We call a play and Michael takes it the distance. And it's ironic that last year when he came in, he did the exact same thing to him. And I think the play was the exact same play. Michael, second straight week, you work into a hole and have to work out of it. What, what's going on in the locker room? What, what's coach telling you? Well, we know that we have the talent on our team to be able to bounce back from a rough start in the first half, which we've done the past two weeks. And we have the talent on our team, the work ethic, and the great coaching to be able to bounce back and get a lead. And that's what we did today. Talk about the 83-yard touchdown on first snap in the second half. It took forever. Um, I mean, it was, it was a wide open hole. I had to make one move, great blocking downfield, and I just felt like I was running for a long time. So. Every win is satisfying, but is this win a little bit different in that regard? Maybe the last two wins. Any SoCon win is satisfying. I mean, because it's one step closer to a Southern Conference Championship, and that's our goal. So we'll take this. I'm just satisfied with this win as any other one. So with another heart-stopping victory, the Terriers up their record to 4-0 and in Southern Conference play and 5-2 and overall, beating Western Carolina 21-17. Next up, a battle for first place in the Southern Conference as Wofford will take on the Samford Bulldogs next Saturday at Gibbs Stadium. Samford, which had an open week this week, will come in with a record of 3-0. and should be a dandy kickoff is 1.30 in Spartanburg. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.